This is your catalytic converter. Uh, what it does is it bolts to the side of the engine like this, and it is it bolts like this. There's the oxygen upstream oxygen sensor at the top. It is retained by those two bolts, and you may have find other videos on this on the interwebs that are a little bit more clear but the way this works aside from this gasket see this little lip here that hooks onto this thing so it's actually only the upper two bolts that retain it through there and I could place it on there but it won't fit anyway but anyway just tips in there the two bolts I believe they're 14s that grab it from the top and out comes your cat the hard part is getting it to separate from the exhaust flange because that stuff's all rotted and old and runs at high temperature, but not rocket science, fairly easily accessible on the front cat. The rear cat is worse. Okay, kids, we are out here under the ProMaster, and I wanted to make a quick video about how to do the cats, the rear cat specifically. The front cat is easy. I don't know if you can see, but I'm under the van with my fat ass, and instead of trying to get to the cat from where it is, right there, you're best off to come back here by the muffler and attack the two 10 millimeter bolts. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. Attack the two 10 millimeter bolts. You can see that I'm on one there and the other one at the top of the cat. That's the oxygen sensor, I believe. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Oh no, it's not. Uh... But anyway, a long extension, you can get to those two cat bolts. Can you see it? Yes, there you can see the other one, right? There is the other 10 millimeter bolt that holds the cat to the block. It will pivot and pop out of the bracket, so you don't need to take the lower bracket off. It's really a two bolt system. And when you put those back in, like I did with this one, Annie sees the hell out of them because you don't want to be fighting rusty bolts with this nonsense. You stainless and uh, Annie sees the crap out of them. It won't fall out. It can't fall out because it's in a, a pivot on the bottom. No matter what you do, it will not fall out. Nonetheless, that's actually not so bad. How I'm going to get them to re-thread when I go back in is going to probably involve masking taping the bolts to the end of the socket and doing it like that, but that won't be so bad. We'll see. Anyway, that's your hot tip for the day. Okay. All right, now we are down here doing the rear uh, cat. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, this is the way this works. There's a little channel in here that grabs the bottom of the flange of the cat and the, the two upper bolts are actually what actually holds it. But down here, I'm going to go ahead and pull these. Let's get this in focus. We'll go ahead and pull these two bolts because this is the gasket, basically. It's an MLS gasket. And um, it strikes me that for just doing these two bolts and getting this loose, I'm not even sure if I have to take the whole bracket off. Maybe I do to get the new gasket in there. But that's, you know, you could reuse this, but who wants an exhaust leak way back here where you can't get to it and it's blown right at your face and so on. Should also point out, that's the upper oxygen sensor or the, the, the um, upstream oxygen sensor. And this is the downstream one that goes into the side of the cat this way. The things to know about this are that the downstream oxygen sensor doesn't really do anything except measure the performance of the cat itself. That doesn't mean when you get a cat code that it's the actual oxygen sensor's fault and replacing it will solve that problem, but it's just something to keep in mind. The upstream oxygen sensor does all the work. I did have a problem with another ProMaster where that broke its security and fell down onto the exhaust and melted that and caused me quite a bit of problems. So I suppose if you're in here, you should make sure that you can see that we've zip tied that to the crossover coolant pipe or whatever the hell that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's that back plastic channel that holds wiring or whatever. But keeping that from falling down onto the top of the oxygen sensor is, or onto the cat is kind of important because that will cause trouble. Ah, oh, fun and games.